kitchen corner where we prepare only plant-based meal that is healthy. God's word says he wants us to prosper and be in good health. And when we eat healthy, then we'll do God's will. I am Sister Ali Thompson. I'll be preparing oat pecan patties for you. And this is a patties that is filled with different nuts and herbs and everything that God has put in place. Let me tell you a little thing about this patties. It is so versatile. You can have it as a sandwich. You can have it as a protein with your rice or your bulgur, anything that you want. And I'm so excited this evening to share this recipe with you. I hope you also will enjoy it. For the food, we'll be using pecan, walnut, nutritional yeast flakes, and the herbs, garlic powder, sweet basil dried, onion powder, dried sage, and coriander. We also have some braxamina and some olive oil and some water. For utensils, we'll be using measuring cup for dry ingredients, tea, um, measuring spoon, brush, cooking spoon, the whisk, and this top from the jar of the mason jar, this top. And that's for utensils. And you know, we have our pots over here. So I'll get right into it. Before I had gone and prepared, prepped this, so I have my water and my thing. For this evening, the recipe, the, the, this is a double recipe I'm using because I want a lot of burgers. But the single recipe takes four cups of water, half cup of soy sauce, one third cup of olive oil, one cup of chopped pecans, but as I tell you, I'm using pecan and walnut because walnut has a meaty texture and I like that meaty texture. And quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, two tablespoon, two teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of dried sweet basil, one teaspoon of grounded coriander, one teaspoon of dry sage, and four cups of rolled oat. So this time, we'll add the water to the pot. And I'll take the pot right over here. So we'll pour the water in the pot. We'll put all the ingredients as steps by step, OK? So we have the soy sauce. We have our olive oil. And I'll get my spoon here. And then we have the pecan meal. And this is double, remember? It's one cup of pecan meal, but I've doubled it, so everything is in two. Two cups of pecan meal with walnut. Mix together, makes it two cup. Nutritional yeast flakes. Garlic powder. Dried sweet basil. Onion powder, coriander grounded, and dried sage. You will not add your oatmeal at this point. All these ingredients will be mixed together with my whisk. So you mix it well so it comes together. And then you'll place it on the stove and you wait until it comes to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, you will have your oatmeal. So I'm going right over to my stove here and I'm going to be... Okay. And you mix a little more. Okay, you cover it and then you leave it until it boils up. As soon as it boils up, then you will have your oatmeal inside of it and turn off the stove and it let it sit for about 30 minutes before you go into making or forming your burgers. Okay, so while we wait on the, on the pot to come to a boil, we know that walnut is for the brain. And you see how it's shaped? It shapes like the brain. Pecan meal, pecan, is also adding to the brain power. It is good for arthritis. It's good for 
cardiovascular system and it's good for good for your high blood pressure it has vitamin a vitamin a vitamin e it has zinc it is and it is good for the immune system so you see it's eating healthy that's all in the game eating healthy and i can tell you this recipe makes approximately 20 patties so you see how god can stretch these things the single recipe makes 20 patties. So if you double it, you're going to get 40 patties. And it goes a long way. And these patties can be stored into your refrigerator after you bake them for a period of time. You take them out, you make a sauce, and you add them as protein, or you warm it up and put it in your sandwich. And it can also, you can use lettuce as the bread. You have your lettuce, and then you have your burgers, and you have some sliced onions, and you have some sweet peppers, and some avocado, and that is mouth-watering, eh? Right? Now, it's time to add our oatmeal. If you could just smell the aroma from this mixture, oh, you want to eat it just right now. So we are going to be adding our oatmeal to the mixture that is boiling. It's bubbling all over. So I'm adding my mixture here, my oatmeal to the mixture. And as soon as you had your oatmeal and you mix it in nicely, you want to turn off the, the stove and let it sit for about 30 minutes before forming your burgers. 30 minutes, you turn off the stove Cover it and let it cool nicely before forming your burger. And what I did here, this is what it would look like after 30 minutes to form your burgers. It would look like this, cooled and ready for burger formation. You don't want it to stay too long, not past 45 minutes, because if it stays too long, your burgers become dry and cracky. So I'm going to be basing my baking pan here with some oil, and this is why we have the brush, and we have a little oil here that we can use to... We have a little oil that we're gonna use to make, to base the baking sheet ready for the burgers. Okay. You base it nicely, generously, because you don't want the burgers to stick on your baking tray. Okay. And this is what? This is a secret forming. If you don't want to use your hands, this is the top of the mason jar. You may wonder what we had it for. And this, to form our burgers, you want to put a little oil also on it so that the the mixture won't stick on it. So you want to oil your, your mason top, jar top, so the burgers won't. Then now, we're going to be forming the burgers. Then this is what we do. We take the spoon, and you put your mixture into it. Remember, first things before you come in the kitchen, your hands must be clean. So it's OK to work with your hands without gloves. You want to stuff it in. You see, it's so set, and you drop it out like that. This is a secret. And your burger should be at least three inches thick, okay? Get it nice and thick. And this is excited. You can, if you have kids, you can let them, you and them can make this burger. They'll be excited to do these burgers with you. And what I do next, because when it sets like this, I use my hand to form it round, round, round it up like that, and get nice burgers. Just like that, just round it up. See, looking like a burger. Round it up, just like a burger. It's 
See? Burgers. Looking good, right? I know you want to taste it, right? You'll taste it sometime when you make it. All right, so I'm going to slip this into the oven. It's 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other side, but I like to make it stay a little longer so it is a little crisp. So when it is too soft, it breaks apart easily. So when you serve it as protein and if you put it in the sauce, it just goes out like mince. So you don't want, unless you want mince, you can, this burger is so full of versatility. It is so good. I love it. One of my favorite burgers. So I'm just going to slip this into the oven and I'll come back with the finished product to show you what it looks like. Now I'll be placing my foam burgers into the oven that was preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, we're baking for 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other side. As I said, for me, I like to make it a little longer until it starts getting a little crisp on one side before I turn it. It makes life easy and it's better served like that if you like crispy things like me, okay? So our burgers are in and we are waiting for them. Our burgers, I'm going to be checking them. They are about ready. So I'll go right into the oven. I'm so excited to show you our burgers that we made together, although you weren't in the kitchen with me in person. Okay. Oh, look at them. Look at my burgers. Wow, they're looking good. Here, taking them out one by one. Don't get away from me now, burger. There you go. Oh, it's just about right. Wow, I'm seeing my shadow. Did you see that? So here we have our oatmeal pecan patties. And I'll be right back to show you what it looks like on the dinner plate. Here, this is one of one way you can serve your oatmeal pecan burger. This is a dinner plate. We're looking at quinoa and rice and saute carrots and chocho and pumpkin and this is one way i hope you will enjoy it and i hope before you enjoy it you have to try it and let us know how you like it see you next time at kitchen corner ciao